who are you and what do you do? Uh, okay, we are uh, we are the Vanguards. Um, I guess we've been a so-called band uh, for the last year and a half, two years. And uh, yeah, we make music, man. That's that's about it. I mean, I can't say that it's I can't say it's like this epic endeavor. It's just it's rock and roll, man. Yeah. Well, let let's get even more basic here. Who who's here in the studio? Like, what do you guys name? What do you guys play in the band? Hey, uh, I'll start off. Uh, Jordan Quinn on bass, and yeah, I play the bass. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm Carl Gondor. I I play the drums. I'm Jordan LaSalle. I play the saxophone. Saxophone. <laughs> yeah. And no, I've, and he sings and at the same the time. I've never seen you play saxophone. I'm an actor as well. <laughs> uh, no, I just I play guitar and I sing. Ah. Well, they're going to be here till 8. Uh, for now, this is Dead Man's Brazil. Second edit going out to Stefan. If you guys are as eager as I am to rock out to one of their songs, here's the Vanguard's Ascension on Say Radio. <laughs>
Gotta love her, man. Yeah. <laughs> Did you guys know? She was pretty hot. Oh, I'm not, well, not going to lie, man. Well, I think she's available. Karen, so. call me. <laughs> so, um, I didn't know this, but did you know that cold shots freeze? Do they? Yeah. They, I don't know. They, I've never, never had, had them around. I've never <laughs> had them long enough to know. <laughs> well, I put them in the freezer overnight, and that's what you smell all over the floor now here in the studio. Yeah, that overnight <laughs> thing. I don't know. How yeah. <laughs> well, back to business. I've got some questions for you guys. So how did you guys beers? come to be? How did you guys get together and form this brotherhood that is your band? I guess we've all been like jamming together for like upwards of maybe like five or six years, and like in different projects and everything like that, and around like our hometown stuff like that. And we basically all came together and collaborated on a it was a singular new project. Yeah, singular project. Yeah, no, uh, we had a we had a bit of a a chance. Uh, we had a gig booked before we were actually a band, and we were kind of pressed for time to put together a few bands to have this whole thing out in, uh, in Pickering for New Year's. And uh, this was one of the groups that formed of it. And it was definitely, I would say, the strongest, and we just decided to roll with it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you guys are pretty close. I've I've come to understand that you guys all live together. Yeah, man. Uh, it's it's supposed to be more productive, but it's <laughs> really well, not. Well, get hard. You guys got to see each other like 24-7 as a band, right? Well, we got to work, and everybody's got, like, girlfriends and stuff like that, right? So. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's it's interesting, because where we used to have, like, maybe, like, two really long, like, six-hour practices a day where we'd be able to really hammer things out, now that the creative process is kind of intertwined with the living process, it's like, we'll go and, like, crank out two hours of practice and get, like, half a song done, and then drink. <laughs> band, band practice isn't band practice without a couple beers. Yeah, well, man, it's like, it's so hard when there's a PlayStation in the next room and, like, I'm, you're supposed to be writing Cold songs. shotsicles in the freezer. True. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, they turn to slush. I'm telling you, they, they go everywhere. Beer now, slushies. <laughs> beer slushies? Yeah, well, beer, you know, you should get beer ice cubes to put in beer, right? Yeah, yeah, More beer for beer. Yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome. Pat, pat in that, man. I, I'm thinking about it, man. Yo. Anyone's listening? That's mine. Back off. So the Vanguards. What, what? What kind of name is that? Like, like, what did you guys? What did it form? What's the um, original like story? Yeah, you know, they. It should be more interesting, but uh, really, it's just like I. I saw it on a video game once. <laughs> uh, no, I used to play this really kick-ass video game called Vanguard Bandits, and I didn't actually understand what it meant for the longest time. One day I decided I was going to look it up because I thought it was an interesting word. And uh, to be a Vanguard is to be on the edge of change, or in its militaristic definition, to uh, be the, f- the first on the field, you know, to kind of spearhead it. And I guess when it comes to music, we definitely, uh, you know, we definitely want to be a part of something big, whether or not that happens or whatever that happens to be, I guess it's like yet to be seen. Hmm. Okay. Well, I've actually had most of your fellow Toronto bands that you've played with on the show, such as Mother Leeds and Slaves to the Groove, mm-hmm. and, and you guys all play at a venue called Siesta Nouveau, which sadly has been torn down in oh, place man. of condominiums. Let's all have a moment of silence for Siesta. Moment over. <laughs> well... One of the bands that played with you guys recently, <laughs> man, that's ripe. Oh, that's awesome. Was Jumple, and I've been jumping all morning, and I can't get the song stuck out of my head. So here's Jumple with 2012. Wasn't really well, they gave me something, something to come. 
Yet another Vanguard song coming up right now is Vicious Indecision. They're going to be here till 8 o'clock, so if you guys got any questions, go ahead and go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash Dr. T Show. Ask away, because they are inclined to answer, and they would love, love to answer your questions. Here it is, the Vanguard's Vicious Indecision on Say Radio.
Not guess a, guess what? The mics weren't on the whole time. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try this again. 6.50. So there you go. Music for the masses. You're listening to the Dr. Taylor North Show. I got a PhD in sexy. If you haven't already, go to uh, <laughs> Facebook.com slash Deja Dr. T Show. Yeah, it sounds... Wait, didn't this just happen or something? Yeah. Cool. Oh, we got a question uh, from a girl named Christy. I don't know. I bet you guys don't even know a girl named Christy at all. Like, who's that? I don't think I know a Krista. <laughs> Krista. My bad. Kristen. <laughs> and she wants to know if, if your musical instrument was a woman, how would you make sweet love to it? Pound it. Pound it. <laughs> yeah? Pound the skin. And let with every, everything you've everybody got. Everybody listening to There's, your sweet music because everyone can loud, hear you because you guys are loud. I hear it. Drums are loud. <laughs> how about you guys? I don't know. Like, I. You, she said sweet, sweet love, and like, I don't know, like, you, I, I don't know how much you can love a musical instrument. Oh, they. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't know how much There's you can love a woman. I don't know. Did you get your back? I, I did just get my Stratocaster you back. I I do love it. Okay, well, as, as a bass player, I guess. As a bass player, I guess I would stay low. You would go down <laughs> low. <laughs> Working on that finger picking. <laughs> Chicken picking. Finger as a guitar. As Hello, two hands. Two hands. Also. Okay. <laughs> well, what I want to know personally, what's the biggest show in your eyes have, have you guys played together? We had we had an interesting experience where we were uh, we were supposed to do a gig. Um, I'm not going to specify for who um, at the Ossington and we got there and the uh, the manager of the event the event coordinator uh, Alex 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 Alex, Alex. we were Just say we, it with contempt we Alex. Were, Alex we if you if you're listening right now buddy no uh, we cool, don't man. yeah it's it's cool. all right we don't do poetry readings but yeah <laughs> <laughs> showing up with drum set to like a whole poetry reading and like everybody's reading poems and stuff like this. so where do we put our huge amps <laughs> long long and short of it um, we yeah, we were yeah, told, where did the groupies go? <laughs> <laughs> we were, we were told that you know apparently you can't just book a, a, a rock band, so we were like okay. Um screw these guys and walked up the street and decided that we were just going to book a rock band so we walked over to the painted lady and said hey you know we've done a couple open mics here do you guys mind and uh, they didn't mind at all and we played a, a fantastic set to a, a lovely little audience of people and uh, there was one gentleman in particular who came up afterwards and said that he was having the worst day imaginable he had just broken up with his best friend of like 10 years and, mm. and Wait, our music had some friends break up yeah apparently man I, I didn't well I you didn't guys know. go to like a diner or like Tim Hortons and you just get to like, listen, it's over, man. I'm not watching football with you anymore. You can't keep pissing on my couch, Dave. <laughs> like, you come over, you get drunk, you, get too drunk. you eat all my chicken. <laughs> it's just not. Had, you've been eating. You've been, okay, never mind. <laughs> 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 Something to do with Doritos. Uh. <laughs> now, do you guys have any. Uh, <laughs> Uh, do you guys have any uh, fun band stories to share? Because yeah. I know every band has that one story that well, just... Some of you guys almost died. That's fun. Which... Well, you guys almost died? Okay. Well, <laughs> interesting story Strap about a man in. dying. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I don't know. We, we were out at a, at a, a generator show supporting um, a band. Carl, go ahead, man. Like, fuck. I'm sorry. Yeah, I guess I was the one that almost killed us, right? So yeah, it's, 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 your, it's story. your story. This is your moment. Own it. Right. Okay, anyway, so... Uh, we went to this generator show. We were supposed to play it. We ended up not playing it. I can't remember why. Do you guys remember why? I remember why. I just don't want to divulge. So it has something to do with us being assholes. Right, right. So we're all assholes, and we didn't play this show. And we went <laughs> but we went to the show to support the bands, and Womb was playing, and we were there to support them. We were watching them. We were drinking. And then uh, after that, long story short, we went to another party, another kegger with more beer. And, and then we went home, except... I met a tree on the way home, and my car was no more, and it was shitty. I mean, it was bad. And me and me and Jordan here, we almost died. Lucky for him, he was passed out drunk in the passenger seat and didn't feel. <laughs> didn't feel. A, didn't a feel. Thing. Didn't feel a thing. You know, they, they say that whenever there's a and you know, folks, I don't encourage drinking and driving in any capacity. It's a it's a horrible thing. I don't. In, I don't. As you yeah. spill a beer, I don't. I don't endorse drinking in any capacity. Um, but for some reason, you ever notice whenever they have those fatal casualties, the the drunk ass driver always lives in the. He's uh, like, yo, what happened? Yeah, the drunk ass driver lives in the poor, you know, mom and her kid going home always end up getting wasted um, not figuratively like literally 
And uh, yeah, so apparently when you're when you're more under the influence of alcohol, you're so all loosey goosey. You don't get wasted. Yeah, when you're when you're all loosey goosey, and I was I was the one who was passed out drunk. Carl was just stupid and driving. <laughs> Um, so I lived, yeah, I lived, Carl died, and, uh, yeah, that, that's the moral, that's the moral of the story. Don't ever drink, it's a shitty idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, sorry. Yo, you're, you're trying, you're, you're trying, that's... I'm trying to be positive, I'm trying to be positive in some capacity. All right, now, now let's crack down for the next four minutes here. Do you guys have any, you know, upcoming shows you guys want to promote? Where, where can we... S- See you next. Where can the listeners come and be like, "Yo, heard, heard you guys on radio on uh, on Thursday, April the fourth? I think That's it is. The, no, no, it's the fifth. The fifth. The fifth sorry, yeah. the fifth. Yeah. April the fifth. Yes, <laughs> we're gonna be playing at the Smiling Buddha with a lovely with a lovely Ooh. band. Yeah, Mother Remember Leeds. Them. And the Smiling Buddha is at Dover Court and College. So come check us out. And yeah. That'd be great. And then um, next week, we will be playing with Womb um, at uh, La Revolution. No Slaves, 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 Slaves to the Groove. Oh, okay. The week following. Right. You guys remember that? The week, the week, <laughs> the week after next. The week after next week. The 15th. On the, fifth, on the 14th. 14th. Yeah, 14th. The 14th. 14th at yeah. La Revolution. At La Revolution, Dundas and Q. Yeah, well, Chicken. what are you guys' plans? What What can we expect from you guys during the summer of 2012? Well, uh, we're, um, we're probably going to be getting kicked out of our, our apartment sometime in October. Um, so because of that, we're going to try and uh, initiate some sort of tour of Asia. Um, hopefully yeah. right around that time, I guess. In the meantime, throughout the summer, we just want to crank out as many shows as possible and uh, try and kind of establish a home base here in Toronto because we've just been playing and creating different sets to appease the masses. Um, so now it's time to kind of put it all in motion and get out there, you know, kick yeah. some ass, take some names. Well, if you guys want to play a show in May 21st, that is, you guys can you can always join the bill for In Vivo playing at the Horseshoe Tavern. That would be fantastic. Yeah. Who are they? Who's In Vivo? You get out. You get out. <laughs> you, you, you crazy, you crazy guys. So... I have three songs you guys hear. Are you guys going to be doing an album anytime soon? Is, is, is there any more uh, tracks going to be dropping onto Say Radio anytime time soon? Uh, we have a lot of material. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I would uh, I definitely say towards the end of the summer, especially if we're planning on hitting the road, that we don't want to leave you guys uh, wanting with no material. Um, so we're probably going to be doing quite a bit of recording over the summer. You guys can expect some new tracks out throughout, some summer releases. And, uh, you know, if we definitely, if we do end up hitting the road, we're going to try and leave you guys with a, you know, a fresh new EP before we, uh, before we take off. So. Well, well, well. Thank you, the Vanguards. They're going to be here for the next hour. If you guys got any questions, just go up to facebook.com slash Dr. T Show. And that great band, that awesome, lovely band, Sexual, that we were Sexual chocolate, discussing earlier. Mother Leeds is right after this with Top of the World.
720 Say Radio Music for the Masses. You're, you're listening to the Dr. T. Lenor Show. If you haven't, just do it already, man. Facebook.com slash Dr. T. Show. Go ahead and like that button. And I've been pining over this, and I finally, finally get to play it. Angry Birds Space. That's right. I went out of my way. I bought myself a $15 gift certificate, an, an iTunes gift certificate, and I bought Angry Birds Space, and I'm loving it, man. It's so awesome. You get you get a bird over there. You throw in it. it you throw them into some gravity and you kill some pigs. What's what's better than that? Not only that, there's an Angry Birds TV show coming out with three minute animated, um, I guess, show shorts. Yeah. <laughs> so check that out. I'll put the story on my wall there. There's gonna be a lot more Dr. Taylor North show. Plus, you the intern just showed up for some weather right after these messages. <laughs> well, that didn't work. I'm back, baby, with Toronto guest bands such as Jumbo, Double D's, Slaves to the Group, and many, many more. Along with all of your requests and live callers on air. Listen to Say Radio every Tuesday for The Dr. Taylor North Show. Uh, I, that, thanks for tuning in, guys. That's great. Thank you. Now, my darling, I shall suck your blood. Ew. <laughs> What? Your breath is disgusting. What do you mean? Your breath. It smells disgusting. <sighs> oh. Just here. Try some denting ice. Ah. See? Now that's better. Thank you. Now there will be. <laughs> Don't leave your breath smelling like a monster's. Chew denting ice. Today, uh, class, we're going to, um, talk about, um, you know, uh, we're going to, um, uh, um, 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 Hey, spit it out already! Today's fast-paced world is no place for ums and ahs. Nobody wants to listen to you ramble on. Think before you speak. 
Brought to you by Say Radio. Rebelone! That's what I want to hear. 722, and we got Yuri, the Russian intern, here to do the weather. Yuri, how you doing? I'm doing good. I, I, I got new car. Okay, well, just just, just do the weather. Okay. Say Radio, Toronto weather. Tonight is going to be cloudy with it's 2 degrees. Tomorrow, gusty is 11 degrees. It's nice hot for you. Thursday is 9 degrees with sunny. Right now, it is 9 degrees in these clear skies. Thanks. Thanks, Yuri. You're actually doing a good job nowadays. I know. I take it seriously now. Okay. Well, here, how about this? Why don't you introduce the next song? That's your job. It's not my job. Just try it. <clears throat> okay, fine. Leona... How you say? Leona. Leona Lewis uh, f- Fit. That's featuring. FT means featuring. Featuring one will probably lost in sound. Found. Good. Now say, who's a go to, Yuri? Well, who's a go to? Say, say JD. JD. This is. <laughs> Only on Say Radio. Mm. Yeah. That hits the spot. No problem. Oh. Right there. Get in between my legs. Okay. Your fingers are so good. You like my fingers, don't you? Oh. Thanks, Dr. Taylor North, for that wonderful massage. And next time you come back, bring your friend as well. Dr. Taylor North's Massage and Spa, where the doctor is always in. Hey, Jake, what's the best part about a secret? Uh, telling your friends. Exactly. We should tell people about the secret show. No, 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 no. That's an actual secret. Okay, okay. Don't listen at 5 o'clock on Sunday. Secret show. Platinum and McNasty. <laughs> Say radio. You don't win friends with salad. 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 Well, that's right, you don't win friends with salad, and that's why at Polito's Meat Mansion, you can win all your friends over with all you can eat, chicken wings and ribs, for just 15 bucks. So grab your friends and soon-to-be friends, get ready for your taste buds to go on one wild ride. So tonight, come on down, toss that salad, and grab some meat at Polito's Meat Mansion, at the corner of Young and Bloor. I'll see you tonight! Thanks, everybody, for listening to my show. And the Vanguards are here. Say goodbye, guys. Say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, guys. Farewell. Bye, everybody. Farewell. Yo, be gone, mayor boy. Next week, I may or may not be having a nice little no-name actor on my show. I'll let, I'll let it um, unfold itself, and then <clears throat> you'll know it as soon as I do. Thank you all for listening to Dr. Taylor North Show. Here's the Vanguards with Wasted Worlds. Safe travels and safe vagina.
yesterday.